hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is doreen and this is doreen handcraft if you're new here and you have not subscribed can you please subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up if you like my video and also share ring that bell whenever i'm posting my new video you'll be the first one to get and in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to make this beautiful top it's a bikini top uh, you can call it a bikini crop top and it's so easy and it's beginner friendly and also it doesn't take time it's just like maybe one hour project and you are done with it if you have not uh, crochet one before can you please try this one and you like it thank you very much for the subscriber who are always coming back to my channel may god bless you i don't take it for granted and for the new subscriber welcome back to the family and let's crochet this together welcome back in this tutorial this is what you're going to use a medium size yarn and a medium size hook and scissors and also a tape measure so if you want to know your measurement just measure from the nipple to your sag but in this tutorial i'm just going to give you the basic so i'm going to chain 15 for our tutorial one two three five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Then after you chain 16, chain 3. Then you go back from where the chain 16 started. Then make double crochet all through. Make double crochet until you reach uh, on the chain 15. Then on the chain 16, we are going to make a corner. So if you have not subscribed, can you please subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up if you like my video and also share and ring that bell whenever I'm posting, you'll be the first one to get. I don't take it for granted for those subscribers who are coming. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I cannot thank you enough. Uh, thank you also for subscribing. So we are in this corner. On the corner, you make two double crochet chain one then you make another two double crochet on the same loop so we have four double crochet on the same loop so continue uh, turn back go back with double crochet that will be 15 of them so let's make 15 of them it's so easy please try this one and it's also not time consuming and you can make very beautiful bikini for your friends and for your customers. So we are there. When you reach at the end, you chain three, then you turn. If you turn, you put immediately on immediately after the chain three because chain three doesn't count as a, a stitch in this case so continue like that when you do line two you will always do a repeat of line two so when you know how to do the line two already you have finished the cap and this is the trick that you should know when you're making a fitting cup for you or for other person so we are here at the end of this uh two double crochet then on this uh, rope that we chain one you make two double crochet then chain one then another two double crochet so you'll be doing that when you go uh, when you reach this place you go back again like that you add two chain two, chain one add two so it's just a repeat let's crochet this for like uh, three lines for our tutorial but if you are doing a size medium you go at least uh four five lines then the sixth one will be doing the binding or you do six line for at least mid um, size XL, it will be fine. It will be a fitting cap. So let's meet when we have like four lines. This is how the corner is looking like. 
after I've decided to do five lines, so I am on the sixth line. The sixth line we are starting our binding. So what you do, you chain three. After you chain three, uh, put a double crochet there and then another one again there. So chain two, omit two loops, go to the third loop and make a double crochet. Chain two, omit two loop, go to the other one, make a double crochet. So you are doing three, chain two, omit two, make another double crochet. And now from here, we do continuation of double crochet until we meet at this place. We do the same thing and uh, make sure this side is the same as this side. So when you reach here with the same amount of this, uh, this double crochet will do the same as we have done the other one. So I'm here at the corner. What I do is make two double crochet. Then I chain the maximum amount of chain that I want on my next side. After I finish, I slip stitch back. Let's say like 80 or 100 for the chain, you slip stitch back. This is how we slip stitch to get at least thick, um, thick uh, rope to tie on our neck. But you can also just do chain one. You can do it after you have finished, you have gone around, then you come and put just a chain there. Uh, but I think this one look elegant. So because we, are, we have come with this line as a slip stitch, that means we have done uh, chain one. So we don't need to do another chain one. Go back to the chain down here and do double crochet. So we have two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. Instead of chain one, we did a rope so that we don't go back and come and do the rope again. We just do one thing to uh, without cutting our yarn. So you continue like that. Uh, because this side is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. This side also should be thirteen. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So when you finish thirteen, you chain one, two, omit two, do a double crochet as it follow each other, then chain two, omit two, do a double crochet. Like that, chain two, do a double crochet, and it will be the end of this scalp. So uh, I've already done the other side of camera, and this is it. So this is what I did. But on this case, we started this pattern from here, and we put this one, and we are going to put a rope this side. And on this, in this one, you don't start from this this side going that way because you'll finish this line here. What you do, you start with a rope, slip stitch back, then do the pattern. When you reach here, you do a rope, slip stitch back, go back and finish in this place. So you'll have something like this to look like the other one I show you in my mono. So it's time to do the rope. I want to show you how to make the rope now. So making the rope, it's easy. What you do, you slip, do a slip like that. Then chain three, one, two, three. After you have chain three, go back to the first chain and make a double crochet. Then chain three, one, two, three, turn, go back to uh, where you see the first loop, you make a double crochet. Chain three. If you turn immediately, you will see this loop go in the loop and make double crochet like that. If you turn, you can see this loop make a double crochet. So continue like that until you make the maximum rope that you desire. And this is it. I've made this one. So what you do, you put down and you put through down like that. Then you cross like this, then you do the same. 
you start from downwards going up like that then you do the same you start from down here going down here and this is it so what you do you tie your rope here like a bow tie if it's long it will hang but if you just make a short one it only do a bow tie here and this is it you you tie this one on top and the rope the other side behind and thank you very much for watching my video let's meet on this next video